Okay, so people, if you've been watching the first video on the Laden Frost Effect, this is video two with my lovely curvy wok instead of my flat uh, skillet. Let's have a look at the temperature now. Ooh, 280. Now, this is quite exciting. Let's see what you think of this one. A little bit of water down the side. Now, that literally. I think that shows a better effect. You can also make it race around the pan because it's curvy, it's a little bit more exciting. Hold on, let's give it another go. There we go. I can make it dance around that wok. How cool is that? So a little bit better maybe with the wok. You can get a better spinny effect. There you go. So, Laden Frost Effect, video two. Better with a wok, I think because the temperature is just that little bit higher. So it's kind of like what you see with liquid nitrogen dancing around um, on, a, on a surface, which is the same sort of idea. There you go, that's not bad actually. So it's working its way around. It's still going, isn't it? See, that by now you think should have evaporated, but it's still going, isn't it? See, and then eventually we break the surface tension and it's gone. I'll have another go at that one. Let's have another go. There you go. That's not, that's not bad. Could it move? And I think it's due to my fact my wok is just that bit, bit higher on temperature. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're actually, ooh, 330 degrees so I've got my little dot there going really well so that's video two for the Leyden frost effect the explanation is on video one so there you go happy Christmas everyone